Okay, we're recording. So we're, we're playing this uh, game, I think it's meant to be horror, called the uh, Routine, as you can see here. Uh, I can look around, I'm just gonna move some of my crisps to the side. Okay. I can't move around. Seems like all I can do is look. I mean, it doesn't look like a horror game for now, right now, but but so it will soon. Like, there's another game, The Open House, that I also plan on playing, which quickly turns to horror. But I haven't seen, like, like past past one which I have a fake cross because that's how I like, quit the game besides that I did that I wanted to like do it on camera and stuff I'm just pressing random keys. Well, it's less pressing, more just me holding my finger down and moving it across the keyboard. I have no idea of where any what I meant to be doing. I'm gonna pause the record until something happens. Just watching. And I pressed the on button. I just have to check what hotkey I assigned to pause. Page up. Get this off my screen. Okay. Page up. And it looks like I'm not pausing this. Pizza. Did I actually pause it this time? God. Pausing does exist, doesn't it? Okay, I have now rebound it. Oh, nope, that is probably in full screen. No idea whether that paused or not, but uh, I pressed F11 because I rebound that to pause. And it has full screened my uh, thing. Kinda forgot that F10, that F11 did that. See, like, like most of this video is probably just gonna be me looking around waiting for something interesting to happen. While I like, try to find, like, a thing. Oh, nope, nope, I just entered studio mode. And this is like my third, third recording with OBS, like I did two live streams before, one was Minecraft, one was a, this random Baldi's Basics mod that I did yesterday.
Well, I guess that's so like a thing up here for me. Left clicking and right clicking to a uh, one of the GDBA openings. Well, why is there like some black things up here in there? Okay, that's either part of OBS or part of the game. I mean, it's been a... Uh, how long have I been playing this? Like, six minutes and only now i found something interesting. That's probably five minutes if we also count our little opening scene. Okay, yeah. Escape only does that. Okay, spamming keys, this is that thing. I'm just gonna go back to this. Okay. It's been six minutes and I only now found out what to do. Probably gonna cut that out of the video if I actually figure out how OBS editing works. Okay, now I got to get one of these, put it in there. Why does this coffee machine sound like someone using a toilet? I choose to be like, that's what it sounds like, to me at least. So, we uh, Okay, I have to go there. But it's about to ask if it was like real life where I just have to wait for it. Yeah, again, I wouldn't know, like, I've never had coffee, like, but I had it once when I was, like, four or something, and I didn't really like it that much. Oh, okay, we're watching the TV now. And uh, the kitchen we were in, it's only just for there. Not so right, it feels like I'm playing a FNAF fan game. I'm just gonna move my keyboard to the side since it seems like this game only uses the mouse. Modern science controversial particle seller to complete. Need to pull that to this actually. Yeah, but what does it do and why is it controversial? These hours are out. And I also could not look around when after putting that down. 6 a.m. back to the beginning. Here we go, back doing this thing that took me a full five minutes to figure out for some reason. Okay, I could not look around while that was filling up. And I could not look around while this is empty. Yet.
a white doctor puts the butt on me. Like, I can basically speed one less now that I know what we can do. Oh god, there's a body there. Yep, I knew it. There was a good thump scare or something. I can't look at wow, don't see ending loop. Wait, so is there different endings? Take one pill to... Wait, that pill have something to do with it? I, I didn't even notice that, but it doesn't look like we've been taking those pills. So we did what we did, we came back here, some weird man was dead in the garden, then he revived himself and killed us, or something, I don't know. So how about next time we just go out there with the empty cup and smash it across his face or something. I see that. I go, we, like, we have all these creative options that the game doesn't let us do. So there's like a game that allows us to end things, it's like the text-based RPG powered by AI called AI Dungeon. I've been playing it recently with my friends, might do a video on AI Dungeon if you guys want me to. Okay, I can't look around with that with the opening we could slightly look. Oh, there's different things to interact with. Maybe that's why it ended up that one thing. The evening minute. Protests are local university of proper uh, the damn particle accelerate. Hate to get search for local missing man continues and does something I can't read. Like if you want to pause and get out your magnifying glass and read it then you can't and like why just so loud? Like I put something down the newspaper it doesn't make that much noise like that's the type of thing that would alert the killer of where you are. Okay, so we uh, I picked up a different magazine. So, well I guess it might be a different ending, but there uh, still be a dead body out in the backyard. Will the dead body break in and subscribe me while I'm looking at the floor or something?
So earlier on I mentioned that open house game that I might plan on playing after this. Yeah, that open house game and the game I'm playing right now where, yeah, they're both made by one guy. Or the same guy or something. There's still a dead pod up to the back. But we're still gonna go out and interact with it. <laughs> and our character learnt nothing. Oh, what do I get it this time? Oh, what the heck? He can't get out again. I have to keep him hidden. No one likes him anyways. I have to keep him here where it's safe. It says he's some drunk guy who like collapsed there. And in the other end, then he conveniently woke up and killed us or something. And in this end, then he's still unconscious, so we like drag him to a hidden safe or stuff. I don't know. Well, the. The only other thing I saw in that living room was a TV remote, so... Is a demon gonna jump out the TV screen and eat us or something? Okay, speed one time. Like, I would speak when this was like kind of round, but like, the problem is, like, uh, you can't exactly be quick when you don't have a mouse cursor and you have to, like, have it in, like, a specific way, the ass. Okay, so you have to be, like, so precise, like, it's like having a wheel, it's like having a bow now and trying to suit the one by one Lego brick from, like, 50 miles away. Okay, maybe it doesn't require that much precision, but... Okay, I didn't see anything else with a dot on it. So I guess we're gonna... What's it? What even is that? Okay, so it's a UFO sighting in a London or something, I don't know. Also a fun, useless fact. I am going to be going in London, to London eh, about two days after making this video. Okay, speed one time. Never mind. Oh, 
also, how come like all of all the rain and water that lasted in the dark just kind of disappears? Like, like there's still a bit of liquid in there that just disappeared, I guess. Okay, what we gonna do with the dead body this time? Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the living room bit and see if getting that ended somehow unlocked more stuff to interact with. Like, I don't know whether this game has secrets or not, and how much secrets there are, if it does have secrets. Like, that's what it would be like, there was just like a random hand that there was like a different body there. Also, I can kind of see a little bit of the bottom part where I said body. That's if there was just like a different body there. And like a millisecond after seeing it, it just like transforms into something and then we get like a unique end, you know, something like. Like, like I'm pretty sure there hasn't been a single horror game. That allows you to get an ending from a sequence that can randomly occur. Well, probably because it's completely random where maybe you'll have a chance to get said ending or not. Oh, I can't even interact. Maybe I just have to wait. Oh. Okay. No, this kind of feels yet like it feels like this is all over, but at the same time it doesn't like I could have interact with anything and it automatically segued into this. Like I am on edge right now because I feels and not like it feels like there's just gonna be a jump scare out of nowhere that's gonna Make me throw my non-existent headphones across the room. Or do we freeze that? That's like, feels like that's gonna be a random some scare that's gonna make me throw like some invisible headphones across the room. Like, I'm not wearing headphones right now, but I do own a couple pairs. Oh, for a sec I thought the screen was fading. 
Oh right, I have to like press the button. Oh, where is the best? Where is the body this time? There's a bird. I'm not sure if that bird was there before. And then calm. It was a nice day. We literally just made some coffee and went outside. Okay, where's OBS? Wait, I've been recording for 26 minutes. Is that really how long this horror game is, even though uh, all we do is make some coffee, pick an object, make some more coffee, and then find a body in our backyard? Oh, it's transitioning in there. That's like a black thing in the window on the right, not so what that is. Yes. What the heck? Oh, we have like some sort of thing. There's an X on the window. Okay, we're back to making coffee. No, I was just gonna end the recording after that comment, but. Seems like there's still something else. See, how many endings are there for this game? Like, all you do is make coffee and then read about something or what an alien is made, and then you find, find a, drunk, a drunk man's body in your backyard, and then he revives himself and murders you. Like, like, so far we've got like four different endings for a game where you mainly wait for your coffee machine to work. Simulation. I know something's there, uh, always watching me, always listening, they don't want me to know the truth. Oh, that pill is, that pill thing's going down. So, since there's only one pill left in that tub, Sam, I mean there's one more end in. I don't know, I'm just gonna play the game again and see what's happening. I can swear there's something different about those knives. Like, why is it there? Like, 
So the knives have purpose, so probably just some useless crap to throw us off. I'm going to bet that the useless crap that just want to make us feel a bit more paranoid, because, you know, feeling paranoid is how you know you're playing a good horror game. I think it just went back to normal because I could do part of stuff again. I'm interested in that ending where like the body comes alive. Like I want to see that one again. Because like now that I know what's gonna happen, I can actually observe it. I feel like with horror, once you've seen it enough of times, it becomes more, more of a bit wide and split of the heart and half the situation instead. It's fun. Oh, geez, why would you scare me like that? I don't know what I'm saying. Although it's still entirely possible there could be something different. Which is why I'm still on eggs. So we have to interact with the body. Then it grabs us or something. I assume this is our point of view, but we don't know the body. I guess. Then that happens. And then that's one of the same endings we've gotten before. These 34 minutes, like, like, yeah, it was probably extended a bit due to me doing one of the endings again. But I did not expect this horror game to be that long. Well, it was probably only like 28 minutes, because like, I spent a good four minutes trying to figure out what the hell I was meant to be doing. And then I spent like another four or so minutes doing this ending, because I wanted to see it again. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, if you want me to play uh, Open House, it is also by Corpse Pile here, then and I'll do that. Uh, so, if you want me to play AI Dungeon, like, like, actually smash coffee makers across people's faces, and uh, yeah, I could do that. Wonder how much better this would have been if I live streamed it, considering how long it is. Anyways, uh, that's it for this long video and I'll see you next time.